to the relay station. Tech priest, I need a status report. Monastery has been inactive for 32.7 standard imperial years. No signs of tech plagues or co necropsy. Augury sensors indicate immobile life forms in your vicinity. I have found the remains of an imperial squad. They have been massacred. Possibly of a hostile incursion, increased by 85.7. be a worthy challenge for me, unlike your predecessor. He was quite a disappointment. Enough! You are a mockery of a warrior, a creature of a lesser race. Killing you would be only a waste of my precious time. You'll perish soon anyway. What was that, Inquisitor? What is a Drukari? I don't recall meeting any of them. You are lucky. It's likely you would not have survived the encounter. They are the Dark Elder. When I was a child, Grexus told some disturbing stories about them. Ruthless pirates preying on the Imperium, right? They are not simple pirates, and they are worse than ruthless. The Dark Elder are the forsaken kindred of the Craftworld Elder. They revel in enslavement and torture. They are cunning and sadistic. And now, they are here. But to what end? 
The cogitators could grant me some insight into the situation. Access denied to the central archives from this cogitator. Proceed to the data vault, Inquisitor. Good idea. This station is categorized as the main communications conduit from the system to the rest of the sector. The data vault must contain all the astropathic messages that were swallowed by the great Epsilon warp surges. The presence of Drakari explains the lack of any sign of assault on the station. The Xenos must be using the webway to strike swiftly from their portals and retreat immediately. Correct. Remember that we are the Xenorite, specializing in research into Xenos relics in the sector. We have extensive knowledge of the interdimensional labyrinth, known as the webway. Preparations in progress. Injecting memory stimulants into the tertiary amula gala as we speak. to his ship and the crew, though. They might be enjoying the famous dark With all due respect, you always seem to find a way to presume the worst. That's what makes it worth it. chance confirm your assumption. Alpha grade tech heresy. The fact that it has been executed by a Xenos race is an aggravating circumstance. They massacred an entire void station. Another aggravating circumstance. Suggested approach. Investigate the human remains. Yes, I was planning to do that anyway. They must be the corpses of the local astropaths. New audio log. Relay station has been cleared. I'm heading back to the ship now. We know that the Dark Elder infiltrated the system, which could explain the silence and the apparent desolation. I will continue my investigation with this conclusion in mind. Tech Priest, 
Did your sacred contraptions locate any life signals in our vicinity? Negative. Sensors failed to detect significant void traffic or any considerable proof of life. No Vox transmissions in the area, except for an automated broadcast signal on the Astra Militarum channels. It is originating from an Astra Militarum command post. Standard procedures, Inquisitor? No. Use the rogue trader identification psalms for now. The Dark Elder usually don't employ human mercenaries. Something is going on. Perhaps a surprise visit will clear the fog. an Astra Malarium base on a world that has been cut off from the Imperium for decades. I must call your attention to the potential... That's what I was talking about. Look at these disgraceful buffoons. Shabby formation, unknown insignia, evident lack of discipline, no senior officer in sight. When morale sinks low, depravity and laziness sets in. Attention, Guardsmen. Inquisitor taking command. Right, they were impostors, ready to spit on Imperial authority. What's come? A disgrace to the uniforms of their venerable ancestors.
I agree. Let's see what his personal possessions have to say. Inquisitor, your location is close to a Vox station. Suggested course of action. Search the transmission logs. I'm quite busy down here, Tech Priest. Yes, that is a good idea. I finished clearing out the base. Treacherous Imperial Guard, serving the Dark Elder. The taint runs deep in this subsector. It's hardly surprising. The warp surges have left entire systems abandoned for too long, far from the light of the Emperor. On the other hand, this is new. The Dark Elder systematically corrupting entire systems for decades? The Conclave has to know about this. You need to purge this system thoroughly and without mercy. And you cannot trust anyone here anymore. Inquisitor, during your current deployment, an urgent message was received on the Ecclesiarchy Vox channel. Authorization psalms are valid. Let me see it. This is Cardinal Julius Bedivere speaking. I have been informed about the arrival of your vessel and your attempts to establish connection with Imperial authorities. By the powers vested upon me by the Holy Synod, I am asking you to help my diocese. I am currently residing in the Cathedral of Basilica Aurealis, trying to fight the encroaching darkness with my most devout followers and the powers of prayer. Whoever you are, you must be the torchbearer sent by the glorious God Emperor to release us. In the name of Saint Enoch the Sufferer, help us. The message seems genuine. After the recent events, though, I cannot trust any Imperial authorities in this system. We have already found evidence of the machinations of the Dark Elder and the treachery of Imperial troops. For your information, the voice analysis unit in this body detected atypical vocal fluctuations in the last sentence. Data check. The Caligari Registry of Saintly Deeds lists one Enoch the Sufferer, who was betrayed by his most trusted followers. Clever thinking, Tech Priest. This could be a hidden warning. Recalibrate the teleportarium. I want to avoid the main entrance where they will likely be waiting for me. Take me to an abandoned section of the cathedral.
Citadel. Reconnaissance rituals indicate a hostile activity in the chambers adjacent to the entrance. Your hunch was right, Tech Priest. Enemy patrol detected in the vicinity. Contact is imminent. I was expecting you to come from the other direction. Inquisitor, we are all alone out here.
calculations, you reach the coordinates where the Cardinal's transmission originated. I've just found the Cardinal, Tech Priest, and his guards. This information is redundant. I beg for your remission, Inquisitor. Redundancy is a sin. Sincere gratitude, Inquisitor. By the grace of the Emperor, you have deciphered my warning. I should execute you for treason. What was this all about? I deserve no forgiveness. But before you rightfully sentence me, please hear my plea. I was imprisoned, tortured, and mentally manipulated by these Xenos Reavers for a long time. Let me help you in your sanctified duty. So they made you lure me into their trap. You and others in the past. These monsters are plundering our worlds. We've been lost in the darkness, Inquisitor. These Xenos have been allowed to carry on unchecked. They were already waiting for me on the relay station, and set up the trap here in no time. What is their secret, Cardinal? I have no idea, I swear. But they know everything. Their ways are... efficient. Terrible, but efficient. Inquisitor. Category 5.8 fluctuations in the Immaterium, in your vicinity. A warp gate? Tratton is consistent with the Dark Eldar webway portals. Cardinal, we have not finished. Find a shelter nearby. Inquisitor. Now, you should execute that treacherous worm of a priest. The Dark Elder are masters of torture and manipulation. Yet he managed to break their thrall over him and warn me. He was almost begging for judgment. Weakness is like the rot. Once it sets in, it's only a matter of time until it destroys everything. Once the Imperium lost the Aureus system, these worlds fell prey to a great menace. We can't execute everyone who couldn't resist the powers of the Drakari. Inquisitor, the etheric alpha spectrometer finished the analysis of the warp signatures detected there. Tell me that this is leading somewhere. I'll be quite dissatisfied if I cannot deliver judgment upon those who are responsible for the destruction in this system. 
Xenorite triangulation subroutines identified the same signatures on a deserted void station in the system. Note that this method is considered as a grade gamma tech heresy. I need results, Omicron. I don't care about your meddling with Xenorite technology. Statement recorded for future reference. On the subject, Atheric triangulation subroutines identified familiar signatures on a deserted void station. 90.7% probability that the webway gate was opened from these coordinates. Then we have a long, exhausting piece of work ahead of us in this accursed system. that the Drakari use the arteries of the webway that can offer them a swift escape. Indeed. They also need solid webway gates to transport human slaves to their otherworldly bastions. There must be something vital to their plans I can destroy around here.
signatures indicate that this contraption is used as an anchor between real space and the webway. It's high time to seal the gates there. Let's see how they react. How dare you to interfere with our work, you arrogant monkey. Oh, look who has crawled back to receive judgment. I will cut out your tongue for your disrespect. I am one of the Cabal of the Jagged Maze. We are the masters of the dark pathways that lead to the Sunless Kimura. You cannot stop us. Stop what? You are kidnapping Imperial citizens. You are nothing but cowards. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's endearing. We have taken millions of your kind, you fool. You have abandoned entire worlds and let us prey upon the remaining human cattle. I should thank you for that. The Emperor doesn't abandon anyone. I am here to stop your foul machinations. You are only wasting your time, creature. The hidden webway tunnels spread wide beyond the veil of your subsector. We go wherever we wish. Then you should return to your true master and frolic at the feet of Slanesh. For this, <laughs> I will show you the true meaning of pain. that Xenox corpse to me. My vibro scalpels thirst for Drukhari blood. This kind of personal commitment is somewhat unexpected from you, Magos. The Dark Elder are an elusive race we rarely have the chance to study. Consider my wish a professional curiosity with a hint of personal vengeance. One day I'll find out why you hate the Drukhari so much and how you know so much about them.
Bowser's captivity. Who seems to be a psycho? Who are you? My name is Thrall. I think I am. I was a sanctioned psyker, formerly in the service of the planetary governor. Why did the Zeno spare you? They tortured me. They have broken me. I was there, bloodhound. They used me to sniff out high-ranking Imperials like you. So, this is how they knew about my every move. I had dreams about you. I felt your burning dedication. I felt your wrath. They were afraid of you, you know. You could have warned me telepathically. I... Yes. Yes. I can remember the last time I had... Thoughts... And... Decisions. There was just the pain. And the lack of pain. of the Cabal of the Jagged Maze have been stopped. I consider this operation a success. I probably don't need to remind you that Cabals send out numerous raiding parties. If this murderous witch told you the truth, there must be other Dark Elder forces working in other isolated regions of the subsector, trying to enslave whole worlds. I'm counting on that, actually. We should teach them a lesson while they think they are safe. But for now, my work here is done. Magos, I need an explanation why you, as a genitor, are so well versed in the forbidden Drukhari law. And you're absolutely right. I told you that all of this was classified, but for the sake of transparency, I will tell you the truth. I grew up on a small mining colony that fell prey to a dark elder raiding party. They took me to an immoculous laboratory. I don't want to go into details. Suffice to say that creature experimented on me, testing the effects of various drugs on the human physique. I was rescued by an Adeptus Mechanicus strike force who spent a long time studying the various substances in my system. Eventually, I joined their ranks, but I could never forget the atrocities of that despicable Xenox race. It is indeed a remarkable story. Rest assured, Magos, the time of your reckoning has come. Inquisitor, you have a message from the Caligari Conclave. I've been expecting this for a while. My job is not done in this subsector. Inquisitor, I require your expertise once again. The pacification of the Triglav subsector is still underway, and the Astra Militarum forces are occupied on various worlds where long isolation steered billions away from the path of righteousness. 
Meanwhile, Lord Bertram, the governor of the Clamoris system, has reported an attack by Xenos raiders on his palace. In light of your recent discoveries in the Aureus system, I strongly suspect that this might be the handiwork of the Dark Elder again. which are classified now. He's silent. is just a stone's throw away. A stone's throw? It does not compute. Never mind, Tech Priest. Lead the way, Archivist. Don't interfere, just stay alive. May be with you, Inquisitor. Another lackey for the false emperor. Your so-called holy order is weak and negligent. 
Now prepare to die. I'm always ready for the final sacrifice, traitor. But this is not my day to die. It's yours. Inquisitor, you have saved the invaluable vault of knowledge from eradication. A reasonable, accurate statement. The heretic has started, was close to activating a scrap code and turning the data vault into indecipherable data fragments. Grade Alpha Tech Heresy. Unfortunate outcome. Yeah. Such precision and such a great depth only to sabotage our own work. Just as I feared. This attack was only a distraction before the full-scale invasion. You should return to the ship immediately. I have a pleasant surprise for you, Inquisitor. You took your time, Inquisitor, but saving the Archive from the Black Legion intruders was a valuable contribution to our cause. Still, our work isn't over yet. While we were cleaning up the mess on the Tempesta Citadel, the whole Nereus system was hit by a full-scale invasion by the Black Legion. You will not leave until the presence of Chaos has been eradicated and their unholy influence has been cauterized. The Emperor protects. The whole system is under attack, but according to the intercepted Vox messages, Nereus 3 and Nereus 4 have taken the hardest hits. Where do we start, Inquisitor? Just mark me the bloodiest hell holes on the star map, Captain. We are going to war. to the defenses personally. But the battle here looks like a show. I humbly disagree, Inquisitor. This is an isolated backwater world with a single functional void port. Losing the only connection to the Imperium would be a logistical nightmare, not to mention the psychological impact. You must silence the Black Legion artillery before the void shields fail. Driving road trader on the say, Inquisitor. We are who we are.
time is running out. Affirmative. The void shields protecting the void port are working at 32% efficiency, detecting increasing fluctuation in the dispersion patterns. Traitor friends will be grateful, Captain. They aren't our friends, Inquisitor. They are the ones who owe us a favor. At your command!
thriving capital. Now there is nothing left but ashes. That's not entirely true. The majority of the local population is deceased or missing, but the bioscanners have located a large group of survivors. Their numbers are dwindling, though, following a perfectly regulated pattern. Strange. It makes sense. Magus. I have analyzed the operations of the traitors, and their attack against the Nereus III is an odd one. It's a backwater feudalistic planet, lacking any military, logistical, or... There's been an interesting development in Krivita. While you were finishing up with this ramp, I detected strange fluctuations in the energy field protecting the Black Legion ritual. Be more specific, Megos. It's only a theory, but it looks like their motive force fuels the energy field. All you have to do is sever this bond, and you can disrupt their ritual. I will sever all of them with great severity. some kind of a leader. The corpse may be worthy of inspection. Careful, Inquisitor. According to the census, this force field is powered by unknown but immense energies. Actually, these readings are fascinating. If only I could try some experiments. That's not why I'm here, Magos. This barrier was created by unholy sorcery. I will find the source and destroy it.
Rose Inquisitor. The energy field has collapsed. You can now access the site of their rituals. Good news indeed. They will pay the price for butchering this city. Inquisitor, it's time to gently remove you. Defeated them, Inquisitor. Just in time. The ritual was almost complete. Had they opened the warp rift, this planet would have been engulfed by demonic hordes. Alas, there is not much left to save or reclaim here. Time to return to the ship. Inquisitor, 
The air is full of desperate Fox transmissions. The initial attack of the Black Legion came without warning. They have overrun the local headquarters of the Astra Militarum. According to the latest reports, he was captured with his retinue. and the local militia. Further resistance would be a futile waste of Imperial lives. Understood. Silence the cowardly propaganda once and for all.
Marshal Corte. Explain yourself. What? Where am I? A cursed sorcery! Inquisitor, I wasn't myself! I swear by the Emperor I could never betray our cause! A smart decision, Inquisitor. The gratitude of a High Marshal is a strong currency. How are you faring down there, Inquisitor? Our work in this Emperor-forsaken city is done. The Vox Station is silenced, and the Black Legion traitors are decimated. We'll leave the rest for the Loyalist forces. I have an urgent message for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, the flagship of the Black Legion, the Inferius Eternum, has finally revealed itself at Nereus IV and started a massive planetary bombardment. The civilian losses are regretful, but this move reeks of desperation. The bombardment resulted in massive firestorms, and the damage is massive, even for my taste. The Inferius Eternum is still in orbit, led by a heretic Astartes called Lord Antaros, the bringer of damnation. A Calidus assassin managed to infiltrate the ship, but she has failed to properly execute her mission. However, she managed to install a teleport beacon close to the bridge before her regrettable demise. I want you to be the wrath of the Imperium. Completed. But this is definitely not the bridge of the Inferius Eternal. The Grace of the Storm will happen. Unforeseeable anomalies in Winterhall. The Teleportarium uses short burst warp infusion, and there was interference. Looks like I need to find a way to go that. Correct. Addendum. Warp engine activation detected on the target. The mission should be resolved as soon as possible. Entering the Immaterium on a Chaos Vessel is calculated as an extremely undesirable outcome.
look at this ship. It's hard to believe that those perverse monstrosities were once Astartes. It's shameful for every one of us. Horus Rupercall was once the most beloved son of the Emperor. If he could fall, none of us is safe from corruption. Leave no survivors, Inquisitor. Kill them all. The objective I have found in this cogitator is alarming. Abaddon, the cursed despoiler himself, was behind the invasion. I'm afraid it is only the beginning of the true horror. We must warn the Caligari Conclave immediately! Inquisitor, you have a message from the Caligari Conclave. I am quite satisfied with your results, Inquisitor. Antaros finally ceased to exist. I must admit that the order you have retrieved from the Inferius Eternum could be a crucial piece in the puzzle. The Despoiler's interest in the Caligari Sector is concerning. Even the highest-ranking members of the Conclave are startled by your discovery, but I'm not allowed to reveal more. 
You did fine work here, Inquisitor. I'm going to leave you to your own schemes and plans for now. But know this. You are ranked among the influential individuals in the Sector. The Emperor protects. Establishing contact with the governor. No. The Raiders must use a Xena scrambling device. That was also the reason why we couldn't send you closer to the palace. At least I... By the Emperor. An engine of pain. Show no mercy. It is the pinnacle of the homunculi's foul art. A torture device turned into a weapon of war. of a mad genius. Even with my extensive knowledge of organic and inorganic modifications, I wouldn't dare to contemplate resorting to the dark arts that could create something like that. These sentient machines serve some cruel masters. It is not a simple raiding party. We're picking up weak Vox signals from the palace. Try to get closer, Inquisitor. Captain, I want you to keep all battle stations manned and initiate emergency warp drive protocols. What happened? Do we have to leave in a hurry? I strongly suspect that this wasn't a strike against the Governor, but a coordinated invasion of the entire planet. We should be prepared for all contingencies. Is this... Is this thing on? Do I have to... Talking to this device, my dear <laughs> servant person. I'm Lord Bertram Cordiano, the governor of this world. Politician, poet, and lover. I require help immediately. You are addressing an agent of the Holy Inquisition, Governor. Capital! Then you must be the perfect candidate for this task. These filthy Zenos are trying to break into my palace. And honestly, this ruckus is getting truly terrifying. They have these grotesque machines that scream and kill, and we are entirely powerless against them. Only a couple of flimsy barricades are left between them and my precious presents. Or, still what?
victorious. You fought like wrath incarnate. At least that's what I've heard. I admit I couldn't even look at the pig feed. The very sight of violence upsets the equilibrium of my humors. Inquisitor, as a pro I see you're making friends in high places, Inquisitor. We have received the official decree about your temporary appointment to acting military commander in the system. The governor might seem like a ludicrous inbred, but he is true to his words. Or he just realized he needs to keep you here for a bit longer. The Dark Elder launched a global attack on Clamorus Prime. The situation is critical. The Drakari is like vermin. It is about time to face them on a proper battlefield. Speaking of battlefields, you might want to consider bringing in some reinforcements. I was thinking about the Free Blade Knight, the Crimson Wanderer. It is a sensible idea, but I need your ship here. Our good friend, Captain Grexus, is still in your debt. He could transport here Sir Ambrose Caradoc and his mighty war machine. Fine. Send an astropathic message to the good captain. center of the planetary defense forces. Not much left to say here. The Dark Elder are the masters of subterfuge. Atheric triangulation subroutines identified familiar warp signatures again. A Drakhari webway gate is open in the area. That must be the portal the Reavers use to transport their prisoners. That's useful information. At your command. Lord Commissar Scar Hurst at your command. Isn't it a nice day for our last rally against the Xenos? Aren't you way too pessimistic to keep morale up? Ah, a misunderstanding. This will be their last day in this Forsaken Valley. We are going to give those Xenos a good thrashing. What are they doing here, exactly? The Xenos are pillaging and taking prisoners from Gladius Hive. Our troops tried to stop one of the slaver convoys but fell victim to a sudden ambush. I'm planning to move against their main forces directly and cut off the head of this filthy operation. I could be of some assistance, Lord Commissar. I have the coordinates to their temporary webway portal. Send out your men to secure the area while I close down the Zeno's escape route.
on you, Xenos. See? I told you that your plan was nothing but a failed attempt to prove your worth. It is only a filthy human. Do you really think this poorly of me? I can sense the spark of burning zeal in this chunk of unadorned flesh. You are always underestimating the power of their belief. In any case, I will activate the pain catalysts while you are amusing yourself here. You think you can challenge me, worthless human? I have destroyed entire civilizations before your kind crawled out into the void. You can forget your empty theatrics. Your wizened master has already left, and I truly don't care. killed an incubus, Inquisitor, on your own. A part of me is glad. And I have destroyed their portal, although it might have been too late. A homunculus has escaped. I suspect you already know what that is. Yes, I do. One of the ancient flesh sculptors. And he could be connected to the recent complications in Gladius Hive. I'm on my way back. You can brief me on the ship. happening down there. The Vox channels went insane a few hours ago. Instead of retreating as they are wont to do, the Dark Elder have begun to kill Imperial citizens in Gladius Hive. It's a massacre. That wretched homunculus must be part of his plan. I must find that creature immediately. Unusual. The Drakari are sadistic, insane torturers, but their raids are methodical, almost surgical in execution. This mindless massacre looks almost random. Something odd is going on. I need to find that homunculus. this. We've run out of time. He needs to accelerate the rate of extraction. proof of life in the area. There is, however, a strange anomaly in the motive force in the vicinity. If the pain catalyst truly manipulates the life force, the anomaly could mark the location of that machine.
evidently a well-organized attack on the entire hive. The Dark Elder are ready to go any lengths to secure these foul machines. Based on what we know about the Dark Elder, these contraptions must serve one particular purpose. To inflict as much suffering on this world as possible. The Scryer Skulls discovered other possible pain catalyst locations, but I need more time for the precise sensory triangulation. Take your time, Makers. We can't afford any mistakes. Not here, not now. much more efficient than I expected, Ape. I wish we had more time. I could craft your pain seed fresh into something more formidable, given your murderous talents. I was formidable enough against your kin so far. This is a cruel world. The weak must perish, especially if they were born amongst the mighty Drukari. That is the truth of my coven, the Koteri of Dissonance. But enough of your education, human. idea what this unholy contraption could be. Biotelemetry measures point to one plausible explanation. These Xenox devices seem to collect pain, fear, vitality and negative energies released during battles and other acts of violence. Judging by the picked recording of your skirmish, the machines could also transfer the accumulated energy to the Drakari to revitalize them. That must be the reason why they've begun murdering the entire population of this hive. They're charging their catalysts. Triangulation is complete. I have the coordinates of the remaining pain catalysts. You should return to the ship immediately.
The planetary Vox chatter paints a disturbing picture of the situation. What are you going to do? All the pain catalysts must be destroyed as soon as possible. But it will take weeks until the Astra Militarum reinforcements arrive. It will be too late by then. I have the solution you need. What is it? Your old acquaintance, the Free Blade Knight called the Crimson Wanderer. Captain Grexus has safely landed on the planet. The pilot, Sir Ambrose Caradoc, is awaiting your orders. The Emperor has blessed us. This changes everything. Put me through to Sir Caradoc and let me guide his war machine through those reavers. Remember, Knight, that the existence of these pain catalysts is a sin against the Machine God. A mockery of everything the Omnissiah has taught us. The Augur Scanners have successfully detected their location. Destroy them all. A task worthy of my mighty war machine. Onwards! It is an honor to fight alongside you again. I have been wandering the Tenebra subsector for a while, employing my skills wherever they were needed. But this is where I belong, on the battlefield! contraption was no match for the Crimson Wanderer. Careful, these are the Dark Elder, masters of terror and agony, and now they are ready to fight to their last breath. This task isn't complete yet. Fear not! The blaze of the blessed furnaces and the thunder of my holy weaponry will banish these creatures from our world.
taking heavy damage. Emperor, I'm calling to you in the hour of need. Listen to me, worthless mortals. We are the cabal of the Jagged Maze. We are the masters of the Nightmare Roots. We are the ones who turn wounds into reality. We take what we want. I will give you one final warning. What you have seen so far is nothing but a glimpse of our mighty armies. Lay down your weapons and come to me begging for mercy. Otherwise, you will perish miserably and watch your precious worlds burn. Leave this subsector to us and never return. The task is complete. My heart is filled with pride. If you don't mind, Inquisitor, I will remain on this planet until the Xeno's threat has been eliminated. The Crimson Wanderer is clearly needed here. But you must know that I will gladly answer your call again at any time in the future. You have a message from the Conclave. That was quick. They must have followed this investigation very closely. I am very satisfied with the results of your investigation, Inquisitor. You have been relentless in your pursuit of these Xenos invaders, and showed the Drukhari that the worlds of Imperium are not their hunting ground. Your report revealed your dissatisfaction over the number of human casualties. We are all aware that this is an inevitable consequence of the Dark Elder raids. The only defense against them is ruthless retaliation. They are a dying race, Inquisitor. They can't afford any great losses. I must also ask you to let the Ordos Xenos agents access the device you refer to as the Pain Catalyst. I'm sure their scholars will come up with a slightly less disturbing name during... Inquisitor, the Caligari Conclave has sent you an urgent message. Inquisitor, I have an assignment for you that might be connected with the previous investigations in the subsector. 
We have a situation in the Rotwang system, which is one of the systems that have been affected more significantly by long isolation. The Administratum still hasn't been able to re-establish communications with the Rotwang planetary governor. They could only reach some mid-ranking prefects who voiced all kinds of excuses. The Imperium cannot tolerate this kind of attitude. What is even more troubling, an envoy of the Millarium Tempestus, led by Lord Commissar Scarherds, has disappeared after visiting the Governor's Palace on the Void Station Dicaster. The Commissar is one of your acquaintances from a prior mission, if I am not mistaken. I want you to travel to Rotwang, interrogate the Governor, and locate the Lord Commissar. Transmission. If there is one thing I've learned from my previous encounters, if you suspect any Dark Elder presence, it is better to arrive unannounced. Request noted. Monitoring of the adjacent segment of the Void in progress. Traffic around the Void Station is... Inquisitor, what an honor to have you here. How may I be of service? Take me to the Governor. Now. I'm terribly sorry, but the Governor is indisposed. May I suggest that you wait for him in the Red Salon until he gets dressed? I won't wait. Open the door, or you will regret it. If you insist, yes, please enter. That was unexpected. Hopefully the Xenos have only jammed communications in this room. I'm heading out, trying to establish Vox contact again.
Evacuation vessel inbound. Defense systems deactivated via inquisitorial override codes. Did you execute your primary objectives? No. The Governor is dead and the Lord Commissar is still missing. But I have information that could lead me to his current whereabouts. See you on the ship. The Governor has been dead for a while now. The Zedos are clearly using the palace as a facade and manipulate the entire system through the formal channels of the Imperial Administration. They have enlisted the aid of traitors and dragged off others to a prison camp. And that's where we're going now, right? You know me too well, Captain. If the Lord Commissar is alive, he could be there. Entering a dark elder prison camp. You must be aware that you're going to witness the true depths of depravity these creatures are capable of. The Emperor's will I carry will illuminate my life with blazing fire. What happens if the Lord comes? Inquisitor. Just imagine my joy. You did decide to visit my little palace of delights. You will be a nice addition to my collection of screaming statues. I have already disposed of one of your fellow flesh-crafting abominations. Yes, yes, I have heard about that. Am I angry? Not really. He was my second in command in the Covenant. Let me tell you a little secret. Whatever happened to him, he deserved that. But enough of empty threats. My thoughts exactly.
Commissar, you are alive. My anger and my stubbornness kept me alive. Inquisitor, you should prepare for an ambush. As soon as I have a chance to bash some Zeno's heads, I will be right as the rain. What happened? I was captured in the Governor's Palace. Never saw him coming. These creatures are crafty mongrels, I'll give them that. I couldn't agree more. They killed my men, but brought me here. Turns out my soul is as strong as steel. I should take it as a compliment, I suppose. And they need strong people for the process. That's how they called it. We are all catalysts, whatever that means. They're building infernal machines here. And I have unfinished business with the monster in command here. That disgusting old creature has a laboratory here. I don't have fond memories of the place. You will probably find him there. I'm on my way. I cannot allow him to escape. Stay here until my retinue arrives. I'd rather find a weapon, if you don't mind. And see what I can do to these monsters until then. Good luck, Inquisitor. I'm so disappointed in you, Inquisitor. You destroyed my playthings and made a huge mess of this place. Now I have the cheek to destroy you as well. You also set back my research considerably. Therefore, I have decided to kill you after all. Webway gate is the only clue left. Any ideas, Tech Priest? The Eldari Webway is way too complex to survey by conventional ways. And what about unconventional ways? Etheric triangulation may be a suitable method to locate matching warp patterns in a very limited range. Do your best, Tech Priest. If there are any other Drukhari forces left in this system, I must find them. Analysis of the warp signatures recorded at the portal is now complete. And where does the portal lead? 
to an inconceivably complex, constantly changing extra-dimensional labyrinth that even our blessed technology is unable to explore. You don't say. For a second there I thought you were describing the webway. Voice analysis detected traces of sarcasm. Shall I activate the sociolinguistic subroutine? That won't be necessary. So where is the other exit? Correction. There is an almost infinite number of other exits. Assumption. You want me to narrow the range parameter to the Rotwang system. There is one exit. I want the coordinates now. We need to get there as soon as possible. Tech Priest, your calculations were correct. This must be the last remaining Drukhari hideout in the Rodwang system. The calculations are always correct. Usually missing data corrupts the equation. Suggested course of action. Initiate purgation protocols. This is the Viper's Nest. I might need some reinforcements if the situation gets out of control. Tell my men to stand by. for failure is worse than death. They must be protecting something very important here. That will be my guess as well.
that must be the fabled Demented. A fitting name for a creation of an insane mind. to kill you right here. A short-sighted but ultimately understandable sentiment. My work was understandably desired by many, and the cabal of the jagged maze sent a coterie of dissonance to kidnap me. They rocked me up and tortured me until I built them the first pain catalysts. I thought your kind isn't bothered by pain. There is a mild discomfort. However, they started to take away things from me. Memories, abilities, organs. And they destroyed my invaluable bestiary. It contained the most extraordinary specimen. For that, they deserve all the suffering in this bleak universe. Tell me, why should I care? We have common enemies, Inquisitor. Let me, through the Webway Gate and my coven, the Prophets of Flesh, will do anything in our power to destroy the Jagged Maze. They've been wiped out from these systems. You are a fool if you believe that you've seen the last of them. But you are not a fool, are you? But their defeat and humiliation undermines their positions. There is nothing more dangerous in our society than any sign of weakness. Let me exist and I will be the herald of their failure. Mission complete. I'm heading back to the ship now. Have you successfully eradicated the Xenox threat? For the moment, I've dealt a mighty blow to one of their despicable cabals, and these worlds are safe for now. But I'm afraid that this is not the end. Far from it. 